She's dreamed about it for more than eight years. Tonight, Cheryl McCafferty is a free woman. McCafferty was pardoned by the governor for shooting her husband to death in 2007. She walked out of a Kentucky prison just hours ago. McCafferty shot her husband at their home in Fort Thomas. She spent again nearly nine years at that prison, hours away from Fredonia. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is the only local reporter as well outside that jail tonight. He's actually live with these breaking details tonight, Tom. Well, processing the paperwork for Cheryl McCafferty's release began around 9 o'clock this morning in Frankfurt, and it took until about 3.30, 90 minutes ago, before she was able to leave this facility with her daughter Molly, and that is the Ross Cash Correctional Facility for Women here in western Kentucky. Cheryl McCafferty was convicted of manslaughter for the 2007 shooting death of her husband, Robert, and was sentenced to 16 years in prison. She always claimed self-defense, saying she was the victim of domestic violence, and many of her friends worked behind the scenes to support that claim. When things like this happen, it's, it's a sad situation. Everybody's embarrassed. Nobody, these people need help, and I, and I hope Maybe somebody watching this program and knowing what happened in this case can possibly um, get something out of it. But neither Commonwealth Attorney Michelle Snodgrass nor a jury bought that argument. The jury sat there and listened to two and a half weeks of testimony. They didn't decide that Cheryl McCafferty acted in self-defense. The jury was probably in the best position to make that decision, and they found her guilty of manslaughter. Well, despite the controversy that continues to surround this case, to swirl around this case, Cheryl McCafferty now plans to spend some private time with both of her children who live out of state and then return to northern Kentucky. Tom McKean, not on your side, live in Fredonia, Kentucky.